take your temperature. All right. And then if you wouldn't mind filling out this form, that's just below you. Cool. What was that? Your temperature is uh, 98.6. Okay. Next person. Wait, what's, what's it supposed to be? 98.6. Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Who's next? We are here in California. We have put the fastest man, you, in the fastest suit in the year 2020, and we're trying to break 20 seconds in a 50 meter freestyle. Is that all the 20s? I think that's all the 20s. We covered them. Okay. How are you feeling about all this? This is pretty historic right now. Yeah, it's exciting. We got a beautiful day here with good people, good company, Team Speedo. So just trying to trying to have some fun, go fast. Um, I'm glad they picked me to be the guy. I want to try to do my part, stand up, do something mean. I remember the first time I got a cap with my last name on it was uh, for the Olympic team, and that that meant a lot. So I don't know to have my name on a historic suit like this. I know I never wore it but this has such a footprint in the history of the sport and for it to kind of come full circle back to me, it's pretty cool. We are here today to watch Caleb hopefully break 20 seconds in the year 2020 in the Faskin suit that is celebrating its 20th year anniversary. So history is going to be hopefully made today. I believe it will be. We have the best swimmer in the world here with us today. What's your prediction, Basil? Let me hear it. 19... 7-2. 7-2? Okay. How do you feel about that? You know, it's two laps of the pool. What's going to happen is going to happen. I've been fortunate enough to race in this suit. It changes everything. It changes your body position. It makes you a faster swimmer. And so I think we're going to see something really, really special today from Caleb. Let's go, Caleb. Go, Caleb. 50 freestyle. Okay, go on. And that's where Caleb excels on that start. See how fast he is underwater. Beautiful breakout. Times that wall perfectly. Flips around 10 seconds. He's swimming this 50, no breath. Coming into the wall, head down. 20.4. He can do better, he says. He's got a couple attempts, 20.4. That's a good warm-up swim. That was probably really good for him to get out of the way. First one done. He moved it fast, 20.4. I know he can get under 20. How does it feel, like you've never raced in this freestyle. How different is it and how much do you have to change your stroke? It, it, it feels great. Uh, super buoyant, so yeah, I've had to adjust some tweaks here and there. Um, from the first one, I had to, I added a kick on the breakout because it, it, it shot me up pretty quick. I wasn't used to that, and I took a kick off of that wall. But no, it, it feels great. You know, it's, it's iconic, it's a historic suit. Feels great in the water, super buoyant, super floaty. So, History I like it. History in the making, Mr. Caleb Dressel, doing what he does best. So I think the more time that Caleb spends swimming in this suit, warming down racing, the better he's gonna get because you actually have to change your body position in this suit because it lifts you up in the water and you're way more hydrodynamic than you normally are. And for Caleb being the best 50 freestyle in the world, it's all about the details. That means no breaths. So for him, he's gonna correct a couple things. Attempt two, I think is gonna be much faster. He has 20.4 on attempt one, but again, this is all, it comes with a learning curve, this suit. and so. It is not a surprise to me that on try one, he's gonna tweak a couple things and feel how his body feels right now because when I was racing in the suit, I changed my strokes completely. What's 
super smooth. He's looked better every single time he's gotten into the water today. Nails that turn again. No breath this entire 50 as he comes into the wall. 20.42. Just off 19. We got 20.40. I had to change a couple things. As soon as I dove in, I'd, I'd float right to the surface. So I had to I had to change a couple things, body position here and there, but it felt really nice. It felt really, really good. But I'll, I'll say this as well, a suit doesn't make the swimmer, the swimmer makes the suit. For you, would you, along the lines, want to do this again and kind of see where you could be? Oh, I would 100% do it again. And it's it's not about going as fast as you can all the time. It's about learning from the sport. And I think that's the most important thing I can take away from today. Well, thanks, Caleb, for doing this. It's so awesome to watch you do your thing. And that's why you're the best. Not even the best swimmer, just the best human. So, well, you're the best. Thanks, Bison. You're welcome. Good to go. That's a wrap, right? Right here, you're looking at her. Simone, yeah, this was the uh, suit that I wore in the 2008 Olympics for the 50 freestyle. <laughs> when I won gold and went some it 30 actually, seconds. It looks good. It actually looks I know, good. it looks, it does. Hey, Caleb, Still <laughs> 2008? 12, wait, 12. All right, so you want me 12 and a half. 12 and a half, as soon as those feet hit the wall. I'm, I'm going. Ha, ha, ha.